Whoever's caught, I'll throw the roof! Gentlemen, I'm sorry to say you've fallen victim to the notorious Dark Peppermint. Come again? Dark Peppermint, king of the bank robbers. What makes you so sure, stranger? Well, his signature. This here fella eats peppermints like they were going out of style. He got indigestion? Who knows? No one around here has ever seen his face or knows his real name, hence the moniker. And you've been hot on his trail. You could say that. Sheriff? Griffin, you don't know his name or what he looks like. How in tarnation you know him when you see him? By his minty, fresh breath. Slumberville. No smoking, no spitting, no fighting, no fussing, no chewing tobacco, no yelling, no cussing. Well, what do you say, Jolly? Hey, I'll try anything once. Have yourself a hot bath and some rolled oats on me. Only fitting. You've been on me all week. Pardon me, sir. Your scuff protectors? House rules. Lemonade. Shaken, not stirred. Sorry, we don't serve strong drink here, mister. Can I interest you in a tea, chamomile? Uh, how about some verbena tea? Uh, you really sure you need that firearm? Why don't you let me hold that for you? We don't like folks carrying arms in Slumberville. Not a chance. He goes where I go. A uh, nice town, very clean. We like it. Are you here for the... Uh... Actually, I'm looking for a friend. Lots of friendly folks in Slumberville. My friend eats these by the case. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Extra strength. Must be quite the desperado. Hey there. Hello. Welcome to Slumberville. Thanks. Willie Willow Pillow, chief constable of the tamest little town in the West. You plan to use that gun? In theory, no. That's good, because we Slumbervillians look askance at firearms. As you can see, I carry none myself. You here for, uh... <laughs> uh, I was wondering if you have a bank here. The building having its roof repaired down the street. You can't miss it. And if it's to safely lock up your, uh, I'll gladly hold it for you. Thanks, but I feel naked without it. <laughs> morning, morning. I was up on the roof, sorry. Yeah, I saw that. You been having some trouble? What do you mean? Oh, that? No, no, that's nothing. Uh, this for a deposit? Hmm? Keep a lot of money in that safe, do you? Money in there? Oh, no. We never keep any money in here. However, if you care to lock up your gun... <laughs> oh, no thanks. I'll uh, see you later. This town is plenty strange, old boy. A saloon that only serves tea, a constable with no gun, no money in the bank... Right, Reverend. <laughs> right as rain, Bertha. 
You see, my friend, carrying a gun leaves one open to the temptation to use it. What was that, Wooly Pillow? Oh. Why, the Reverend Calvin Wright stuff, our magnificent old pastor in his flying machine. You're all nuts in this town, you know. I know, and we're very protective of our nuts and don't want them exposed to violence. Please put that thing away before you hurt someone. <laughs> You look like your shorts are in the knot, stranger. <laughs> May I suggest an orange blossom tonic as a stress buster? I need peppermint drops. This brand here. Fresh Brothers. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh... oh, here we are. Sell a lot of those? <laughs> well, you hardly ever. They're too strong for slumber villains. Aaron, give me a large bottle of iodine, some gauze bandages, and a big jar of camphor balm. Uh, test flight coming up, Burton. Keep it down, Aaron, honey drop. The walls have ears, you know. And give me six tins of Fresh Brothers peppermints for the Baron. Those Fresh Brothers must be catching, huh? Who's she? Bertha. She keeps house for the river and the right stuff. Don't get her riled up. She's obsessed with the fear of spies. Fear of spies? There's a whole lot of folks like to get their hands on one of Wright Stuff's machines. Don't know for the life of me why, though. Personally, I've had my roof repaired 74 times. But things are better now. He almost always hits the bank. I tell you about guns. You have them, you draw them, you draw them, you fire them. I'll be huh? confiscating this what? for the duration. What do you want? I'd like to see the Reverend Wright stuff. You a journalist? Uh, no. Then you're a spy, so vamos! We'll never be ready in time, Reverend. You! Relax, Baron. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. Perhaps not, but it's only 48 hours till it's a big day. Just thinking about it you upsets my stomach. Wooly Pillow, I need my gun. We're leaving us so soon. I need to catch a dangerous criminal who's hiding in your flying reverence parsonage. <laughs> Ridiculous! The reverend defies the law of gravity, not the law of the land. They call this guy the Baron, but he's the king of high-flying crooks. How can you accuse an aristocrat of being a criminal? The Fresh Brothers squealed on him. I'm wondering who's not here, us or you. We'd better get outside in case the roof falls in. to be some folks just couldn't resist taking aim trying to shoot him down hence the guns in the vault 50 bucks on the bank I say the church at 30 to 1 odds I'm gonna parlay this into a no wheelchair Short. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll get him down. <laughs> Your leg's busted, all right. The road to heaven's paved with fractures. He'll be in a cast for a month, Reverend. A whole month? But the big day is in 48 hours. A pilot. I need a pilot. You up for it? Count me out, Ralph. My dear parishioners, any volunteers? I'll do it. Take away their guns and they go insane.
So, my boy, do you also hear the clarion call of the clouds? Don't see how much harder this would be than riding a bucking bronco in the rodeo. Get ready for the ride of your life! Hee-haw! Try and sit still, Reverend. I don't believe you've met the redoubtable Bertha, my housekeeper. And without Fix-It, my mechanic, I'd be lost. Lucky Luke, lonesome cowboy. He could be a spy, for all we know. A spy? How terribly amusing. <laughs> And this is the Baron Von Flaps, my most generous backer. Baron, I'd like you to meet Lucky Luke, our new test pilot. Badwin Von Flaps, at your service. Do you fly, Baron? Me? Fly? Goodness, no. I suffer from prayer sickness. What's wrong? Luke's never ridden anyone but me. You pump here, which opens the valve, which starts the propellers moving. If the valve doesn't open, start praying. Then don't let him scare you, my boy. My Calvinopter's a state-of-the-art machine. Pumper! 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 Good as new. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. What the heck was that? Not a single roof rack. Shucks. That was stupendous, my lad. You're a born aeronaut. Good old lucky loop to loop. <laughs> Hungry, Baron? Hungry? 36 hours from <laughs> big day? What's this big day stuff, anyway? The official launch of the Calvinopter over at Fort Big. Fort Big? Biggest military base in the whole country. If the demonstration flight goes off without a hitch, the Army's gonna finance our work, aren't they, Baron? Yes, if the flight is successful. <laughs> First you pump, then the valve opens, then the propellers turn, and pumper, pumper, pumper! Knew <laughs> I'd catch you! I was just practicing breathing at high altitudes. successful. You're an ace, Luke. Oh, anybody could do it. Say, Baron, how about we go for a spin? Uh, we ought to test how much weight it can carry first. Is that really necessary? Yes. You see, I want, the army wants the flying machine capable of carrying heavy loads. Heavy loads of what? Uh, I don't agree with this procedure. I don't either. See, this machine practically flies itself. You want to give it a try? Don't you dare let go of those controls! <laughs> Uh-uh. 
Uh, someone looks a mite unwell. <laughs> yeah, but we should call him the Green Baron. <laughs> Fort Big. Stop right there. State your business. Sergeant, I have to speak with your commander. I'm not bothering the commander of Fort Big just for any Joe Blow, so I suggest you mosey along, cowboy. Tell him Lucky Luke's here. That don't ring no bell. Hit the road. Uh, I'm the new test pilot for the Reverend Wright stuff. Yeah, sure, and I'm Princess Maria Romania. Come on, move your carcass. Such an amicable fellow. Yep, just don't get on his bad side. Don't see too many of you fellas at Fort Big. To Fort Big. Say, tell me more. Shh, top secret. And you? What you drinking, partner? Shh, top secret. Bartender, he'll have a top secret. And he said that silly little filly shall brought out the devilry and the old cavalry. <laughs> Let's go, old boy. I got the story now. Jolly, you are a horse of many hidden talents. I couldn't pull that off again in a million years. He stole the Kelvin Opter! Well, he won't get far with it. The Baron? How could he do such a thing? Because he's Dark Peppermint. Come, Come again? again? King of the bank robbers. Got the proof right here. Well, you'll have to show it to me, boy. In case you didn't know, Fort Big is where the nation's monetary reserves are kept. It's a closely guarded secret. Millions of dollars in new bills are hidden away in Fort Big's vaults. The Baron deceived me. Seems reach for the sky means something different to him. Dear, what are we going to do? There's one way out. You can do it! <coughs> May honor ride on your wings, Lucky Luke! I want to know the stabilizers are on stable! Ah!
my money. You're looking mighty sorry for the king of the bank robbers, Peppermint. I do feel somewhat bilious. So who's the green guy? A Martian. This time I think your commander will see us. My dear Luke, you've opened my eyes to just how wild and dangerous my machines can be. I won't fly them anymore. The rooftops of Slumberville, thank you. So, Luke, will you be going gunless from now on? Mm, I'll consider it when the bad guys do. Use it with caution, then. You know, Woolly Pillow, I do believe I'm going to dedicate my life to a discipline more beneficial to humanity than aviation. Huh? What's that, Reverend? I'm taking up nuclear fission. Nuclear fission. 